Gravity. Oh, I hate zero gravity. Do you know how hard it is to be camera ready with floating hair? <clears throat> well, it's been five months since we've left Earth. Oh, and we'll reach Mars in a few more months. Oh, cut. Hmm. Well, we could engage the artificial gravity systems. Whoa, wait. That's an option. Of course. Follow me to the gravity pod. <laughs> Derek, can you please begin the gravitational thrust? Engaging now. Gravity pods extended. Engaging dual thrust. Oh, what's happening? Just wait. Are we going to spin out of control? As the chambers rotate around a center point, it creates the illusion of gravity for those inside. In other words, we get pushed towards the oh floor. One G of gravity achieved. It will now feel like Earth's gravity while you're in this room. You're welcome to come in here anytime you need a break, Megami. Awesome source. Now then, on to Mars. Long, long trip. Nine months, 16 hours, and 34 minutes to be exact. Well, it feels like twice that. But that doesn't matter anymore because I'm pleased to say we are finally at Mars! What do you think, Gerald? Thanks for following us on this amazing journey! Be sure to like and subscribe! But I do not like this! Not one bit! Now I'm told that we are in for quite a sight. We are about to see Deimos, one of two moons that orbit Mars. So get ready to see the beautiful, the astounding... Potato? Well, that can't be right. <laughs> That's Deimos! It's much smaller and darker than our moon. But why is it so... Lumpy. Well, gravity makes things round in space. Like our Earth and Moon. But Deimos has quite weak gravity, not as powerful as Earth's. Resulting in its moon having a sort of <laughs> potato shape. Lack of Earth-like gravity can be damaging for humans as well. The body gets lazy and it can even affect your bones. What? But we were weightless for months. Correct. Mm. Now that we have gravity restored, mm. may I suggest an exercise routine? No! Oh, yes! What do you have in mind? I do not need treadmills. I'm in peak physical condition. If we're going to explore Mars, we need to be ready. Come on, Uncle. <sighs> 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 Um, this isn't going to drain too much power, is it? Ah, quite the opposite. These treadmills generate power. So, the more we exercise, the more power the ship gets? Precisely. In fact, I have them set to feed directly into the gravity pod's thrusters. <gasps> Science is so cool. Yes, cool. But I wonder, dear Eggtop, how fast can you go? <laughs> mm. 
now. Who would like a little corn off the cob? <laughs> to run even faster than before. Oh. oh, please, no! Step four, experiment time! I'll try and free Gerald! <laughs> Once they have crashed, we shall recover that wretched guinea pig and leave them stranded on their potato moon! We made him shrunk back to size! But you said yourself the gravity is too strong to get out. But I have to try! Derek! Lower the ladder! <laughs> Of course. Gravity will become weaker as you approach the center of the rotation. Don't give up! You've got this! Almost there! Please, hurry up! Closed. Atmosphere stable. It's working! Keep going! <laughs> Almost there. Almost there! I can't do it! Like this! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we did it! Is it 
over. Step five, conclusion. It worked! Thanks, scientific method. Well, after all this time and zero gravity, I must say, I enjoyed getting a bit of exercise. Well, I did it. From now on, we focus on the mission to Mars. We don't have to, Uncle. Oh, why not? Because we're here! Welcome home, Gerald! <laughs>